people that hate on point guards oh all you do is left right left right well guess what all you do is freaking run to the paint and hit a lebron hot box stop the freaking noise and stop complaining we all do something it's just that simple I'm going to play the game however I want to play the game. You play the game however you want to play the game. How the hell am I going to watch you buy a freaking cheeseburger and me buy the same cheese? And you are going to tell me me to eat the cheese first before me eat the bread? And the tomato and the lettuce and the pickles and the meat. But we don't want to say the meat. But then say what I said, the burger. You see me? You get the point, dog. Don't tell me how to eat my sandwich, brother. You eat your sandwich however you want. Eat your sandwich and low we alone. Bro. All right, so the 2K community right now is in shambles. All right, so right now I'm having a turban. I have my turban on. My hair, I am growing out my hair. I'm going to lock up my hair. I'm going to get my dreads. I know some people say don't call it dreads, but me at Jamaican, me call it dread. Dreads. You zip. No, the community right now is in shambles. Oh, you know, we're going we're gonna to discuss everything going on because assuming tomorrow we're going to get the city news, we're going to discuss it. All right. Right now, the community is going crazy over this chalk clip right here. I'm going to have y'all watch it right now. I'm going to pull it up right now. Why? Let me guess. Is this what I'm going to see next? Am I going to see crossover spamming his back? Am I gonna see that this is in my team too? Are we gonna bring back this to my team in the momentum spin back? Like, are we gonna bring all this dumb shit back? So much, so much different dribbling. Look at me, I'm spamming my crossover. I have so much more moves now. Like, what are we talking about? It's the same moves. Everybody does the same shit. I have so much more moves. Step back. Like, what are we talking about? Basically, what he's saying in the in the clip is, you know, the community. He doesn't know why the community is so biased, right? Why the community loves the old stuff so much? So much because back then it's literally the same thing. Crossover. What he's saying is the same thing. Crossover spamming and 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 momentum spin and momentum behind the back and you. you you see what he's saying. But the problem is, this is where I have to disagree with Chuck because I did get to play some of these older games. Not as much as I would like because I was in the military. Every game has a meta. See, back then you had more moves to do. It wasn't just limited like this year. You literally had three things you can do this year. I put the L2 cancel and the left stick cancel in the same category, right? I don't consider them different. I They are different in their own ways, but I consider them the same. Um, once you know how to do them, you have to use them together. Jamal Murray behind the back was another thing. And a LeBron hot back. Those were the most abuse things in 2k24 those were the meta you eat every court you look at somebody's doing something like that and if they're not doing that they're a freaking poor scorer they're a freaking poor scorer when it comes to seeing this clip a lot of people did not like what they saw they were telling chalk yo chalk you're just a freaking old head you were you know trash at that game which anybody that knows if you're good at a 2k you're gonna be good at every 2k if you're genuinely good if you're a cheese made person you can't be good at every 2k you're a cheese made person and when the new take 2k comes out you're going to disappear new 2k coming out you're going to be stuck in the old one because you were abusing a certain thing and you can't you can't adapt i have to agree with chalk with certain things i do feel like there's more dribble moves in the game no i'm somebody that dribbles all right but the problem is none of those moves are effective <laughs> and that's why i get the other side of the argument where people are saying yo yeah i get it people were spamming the same meta back then because those were the most effective things in that game but you had endless momentum combos if you take a look at 2k19 lord have mercy the momentum combos you could have done in 2k19 was friggin crazy y'all just have to go back and watch the beginning of yardman gaming's arc and you'll see what i was able to do with 2k19 and i wasn't even on the game like that i took a month's vacation in the military just so i can hit 99 and get my youtube channel on on the ground which a lot of people in the military call me a sick head for it I plan out of vision and it worked out by the grace of god we had more moves back then that were effective it's not about the moves like being cheesy and this if you're gonna add all these moves let them be effective all right no if you ask me personally i think there's a way to solve this i like 2k24's dribble moves if they were effective if you weren't getting plucked it would actually be a good game if you can't if you could stand there and dribble for at least five seconds i'm not saying dribble out the clock because people do that for entertainment anybody that plays comp know you can't dribble out the clock bro you're just gonna put yourself at a liability all right, at disadvantage so we don't dribble out the clock around here we dribble to score now if we're in the park and we're just trying to get a mixtape in or have some fun embarrass somebody yeah you dribble out the clock just like in real life you have a mismatch you're trying to expose them because you have a weak link on the court and you want done the weak boy i think that 
the way to solve this, just go ahead and release all the, the mocap animations from the past that we love so much. We already seen that you guys can do it. You guys have just shown us, 2K, just showed us that the, the, the rivet part that we've been asking for, you just brought it back. You brought it back for the wrong mode. I, I will say that you brought it back for the wrong mode. We saw Rise and Elite already, so we know the part's gonna be Rise and Elite. I don't think it's gonna be no remastered of uh, uh, Sunset or, or, or Rivet, Old Town, none of that. I think they're going to give us a whole different park in a new city because what is the point of them okay remastering the parks if if they're trying to get us to go to my team right my team has to have something exclusive unfortunately they took one of our ideas and put it for my team and i'm not okay with that i wish that they would have at least give us an alternate park that we can go to make the alternate remaster park be where we you know you get more and you have to be on the same team as your affiliation going against other affiliation make that be where we come to see what affiliation gets a new court and stuff like that in the past i think that would be a great idea let me know what you think in the comment section let me know what you think about what chalk is saying but there's a lot of hatred going on towards this tweet and swante had responded this tweet is going viral right now he says crazy chalk is good enough to go to test these 2k games and see there's a drastic difference but because he was too young to understand the game he just defends this era when he got goated and that's what and he's pretty much just saying this is why stuff like this blows up and people tweet stuff like this for no reason now i do believe this is chuck's genuine opinion chuck if you don't know blow up in 2k20 legend grind um i was there to watch it i actually reacted to you know when he unlocked the my court way back there young yard you see me <clears throat> i'm joking i've always been old bro i've been old since birth i've been an older since i was born dog you see me i had a beard since like sixth grade bro I, i'm I, people thought i got hell back bro i'm sorry i'm just i'm just a indian jamaican man the hair just grow fast i just shaved it four days ago and it's already back you see me anyway i i understand both sides i'm somebody that i was a casual i, I mean i'm still a casual but i just played the game sweat I understand the nostalgia of wanting old moves back because I want 2K to release all the moves. Stop making a 2K game every year. Make the game free. Release all the dribble moves and add on every year. Add on. If you want to change up the build system, change up the build system. But add on. I think that's where we need to go in, in, in 2K. Now, there's a lot of you guys that have brighter ideas than me, you know, and you can add to that. I think that would be great. To choose an error, I think it wouldn't work. Yes. 2K16 and those games had a lot of good moves, effective moves, effective. But there's also a lot of moves in 2K24, 2K23, etc. that I would love to have in those older games like pullback. You see what I'm saying? The, the tween spam, you see me? Even though you're going to get plucked nowadays, if you do stuff like that, that's a whole nother topic. I think that combining these moves is what we need, not choosing one from another. Combine everything we have in 24 with the 16s and stuff like that, and that would be the solution. It has the storage with all the mocaps. I know they have it. There's no way they deleted all that stuff because they just showed you they can remaster Rivet City, um, Rivet's Court. They already showed you that. I believe that they can do this as well from the other 2K and have us have the ability to choose which one we want. So everybody has a different, unique way of dribbling, which is going to keep the game fresh. It's going to keep, it's going to keep the game fresh. 100%. Nobody can tell me no different. Nobody. Anyways, I see a lot of people saying a, a lot of hateful stuff under this tweet. It's never that deep. He said, nah, dudes, we're gonna hate NBA 2K25 because these builds are all around OP as hell from what I'm looking at. And trust me, when he says he, he's looking at something, he's not capping. All right, don't ask me how I know. I know. I'm not going to comment on what I know about it already. Even though I didn't sign no NDA or anything like that, I'm going to leave it up to the creators to have their shine. And it's not about me right now. You see me? He responded, if this is true, I can already hear the same people that didn't like the restrictive build are complaining. Bring back a more restrictive build. Every build shouldn't be able to do everything. I'm somebody that's on both sides of the fence when it comes to that. I I, I, I have the ability to remember I used to play the, the archetype 2K and a lot of people that weren't good at the game, they knew they weren't good at the game and they made a build specifically like that. Now you can make a build that can carry you even if you're absolutely dog rubbish water at the video game. You can make a build out there that is LeBron, Giannis, Curry in one build and you're going to dominate. You want a more restrictive builder, but you understand like when you had a restricted builder, you kind of wish that you had the freedom to say when I made my slash and playmaker, my pure yellow slash and playmaker and I got sharp take. There was so many times in that hour or two hours I tried to find a 6'4 slash and playmaker, pure yellow, because it was easy to make the other ones with sharp take, but a pure yellow was hard. I used to think to myself, man, if only I had the ability to put 
the attribute, my three point attribute, just plus one. So at the end of the day, I'm willing to adapt to anything 2K does. I'm going to be consistent. You guys know this. I'm consistent at the game, no matter what ups and downs. I'm going to be consistent. I do not take what the, what the good Lord has given me for granted. Anyway, so that's another thing. Now, Zach Timmerman had put out a tweet. Fo, Foski had said, Baluba, Zach Timmerman, he tagged Zach Timmerman. Since badges don't regress this year, will we start off with our badges on bronze like last year or do we have to earn them at every level? Zach Timmerman responded, LD retweeted, in my career, you'll start with bronze badges. That's a W. Huge W. You'll start with bronze badges, but if you have rebirth, you'll start with silver. I'm guessing rebirth is going to be the same thing. If they're bringing the top 10 back, as we saw in community today, they had the top 10 sticker. Um, and also they had um, elite and rise. They're probably going to bring back top 10. I'm just, it's just common sense, right? Now, hopefully they have something else planned up their sleeve and hopefully they uh, execute the top 10 right this year. But he says in, in both cases, you'll need to meet attribute requirements to use the badge, which is common sense. A quick tweet from Quavo. He said, um, this is a huge week for me when it comes to NBA 2K. We get to see the city. I'm not going to lie. I I'm very excited to see the city. Even if it's not what we desire, I'm excited to see something new. I'm excited to see the city probably tomorrow. Stay tuned. If they cover it tomorrow, you know we're dropping a video tomorrow. We'll give you guys our honest opinion and sh show you guys what other people are saying about it. Hopefully they don't um, fumble this because they already delivered my team, over delivered my team. And every mode seems to be like they're over delivering. But if they do the city wrong, if they do the my career heads wrong, if you play stage, rec, pro, I'm all that. We're all considered my career people. It's going to be messed up. All right. It's going to be, the people going to take it a certain type of way. J.A. Bridgefort had put out a, a, a tweet. He said NBA 2K25 is like current gen NBA 2K22 with this emoji. I don't know. I, I don't know. I haven't heard that from anybody. But if it's like that, <laughs> it's a W year for our small guards. It's a W year. We are going to eat. Content creators, if that is the case, we are going to eat. Point guards out there, we are going to eat. Anyway, interested in Slay with these co-sign what Young Dirk said the other time by saying five nine guards looking like looking OD for stage three's player. I don't know how I feel about this. I, I Slay Steez is somebody that's good at the game. See him in the stage all the time uh, when he's streaming. I don't know how I feel about this because guys, five nine. Maybe people are thinking 5'9". This is my honest opinion. Maybe people are thinking 5'9s are just going to be the wave because they had have limited access to dribble moves. And maybe the 5'9 speed boost is so good where it's like you don't even have to dribble. You can just run left and right, even with the adrenaline, right? Do one move and boost left and right with a screen. But the thing is, when you find that good dribble style, when you find that good dribble seek, and you put it on a 6-3. There's no way you're going to tell me a 6-3 can't be better than a 6-5-9. A you're a liability at defense at 5-9. You're going to get et on, especially with these LeBron bills going back door every play. You're going to get et on unless... And I'm hearing that you, if you don't have defense, it's done. The hands up stuff not going to work if you don't have no defense on no small guard like it, it saved us in the past. So I don't know. I'm, I'm Hey, I'm just being honest with you guys. I do think... Five nines are going to be effective in the comp scene. This is going to be a comp thing. Maybe five eleven. I'm not. I would make a five eleven again. Five nine is a little bit too short. Like to me, it's kind of is is. I wouldn't do it and only for videos, only for content. But if I'm really gonna put my money on this, knowing that I'm just not a content creator, I'm not making no five nine. All right. Maybe if a five eleven is effective, yeah, we'll come out with a five eleven. We'll do our thing. But the five nine is a is a. We won't see. We'll we'll see. We'll see. All right. We're not gonna knock it. We're gonna see. All right, <clears throat> tomorrow we should be getting city news. Don't take it as law what I just said. It could be Thursday, it could be friggin' Friday. We don't know. I'm just telling you, it's the week up. Hopefully, it is tomorrow because we need some news. It's been a dry release season. All right, it's been dry out here. It's a desert. We need some news, 2K. We're out here, I starve. I don't know. I feed with dog born. We're broke up. We need some news. So we can. Have something to look forward to. But I know 2K gonna drop the heat this week for sure. Coming today, a lot of community day reactions coming this week. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Big up on the cell. We're gone.